A few days ago, I went looking for an old image of mine from about four years ago. And I opened an old Lightroom catalog and I started scrolling around and I found the raw image. And it was then I noticed that that raw image and all other raw images that I captured the exact same day, they all had tiny little exclamation marks in their upper right hand corner. Now, if you use Lightroom, you probably know what this means, but if you don't know what it means, that little exclamation point there means that Lightroom is unable to find the original raw source uh, image file that is associated with that preview, with that thumbnail that you are seeing in your Lightroom catalog. Typically this happens when a hard drive has been accidentally disconnected and just needs to be plugged back in and remounted and then Lightroom can find it again. But that wasn't the problem here. My external hard drive was connected, it was mounted, and yet Lightroom cannot find that image or any other image from that day. So again, I thought, okay, not a big deal, don't need to panic, uh, because I also use Backblaze which is a great uh, backup service. You've probably heard of it. It doesn't cost all that much. It costs, I think like, I don't know, six or $7 a month for the personal backup plan. And you can upload as much as you want and it just automatically runs in the background and you don't even have to think about it. I mean, I've been using Backblaze for years. I opened my web browser and I went to Backblaze and I opened the, the folder from that day where the raw images should have been backed up. But here again, the folder was empty. That same image folder from my local hard drive that was empty, was also empty at Backblaze. And it was then that I really started to panic because I remembered something about how their personal backup plan works. With Backblaze, you can back up as much as you want. You can upload as many raw images as you want, videos, documents, whatever you have. You can upload just about everything. Well, the thing with Backblaze though, is that Backblaze will hold on to a copy of a locally deleted file for up to 30 days. After 30 days, that file is also deleted from Backblaze. So if you use Backblaze, anytime you delete a file locally, you have then up to 30 days in order to get that file back. After 30 days, well, <laughs> it's pretty much gone. And that's exactly what happened here because I have no idea when these images were deleted, how they were even deleted. I, I still can't figure this out. I don't know how they were all accidentally deleted. It's a mystery to me, but I lost an entire day uh, of raw images from a landscape photography trip. Well, believe it or not, this story actually has a happy ending, as you can probably tell because I'm smiling about it now and uh, and I'm making a video too. Uh, I got all the raw images back, no problem. Everything is fine now. But the way in which I got them back had nothing to do with Backblaze or with my local hard drive or anything like that, but rather Amazon Photos. And so this is the crazy thing. I think it was, I don't know, like maybe two years ago that I made a video here on my channel about, um, about the different companies offering raw photography backup service plans, you know, cloud backup storage for raw files for photographers. So you can store all your raw images in the cloud and avoid a catastrophic failure like I experienced. But anyway, one of the options I looked at in that video was Amazon Photos, because with Amazon Photos, you get unlimited uh, storage space and you may upload as many image files as you want. So anyway, when I produced that video, I decided, all right, I'm gonna put this to the test. I'm curious to see if Amazon's claims are true, if I can truly upload as much as, as I want. So I ended up downloading the Amazon Photos uh, desktop app and uh, pointed it at my external hard drive, which was about, you know, like, uh, I think it was about eight terabytes at the time and just let it run for a number of days. And it took a long time, but eventually all of my raw images were uploaded and stored in Amazon Photos. And that is ultimately how I got my images back, purely because I made a video like two years ago and I thought, yeah, let's just test out Amazon Photos and just see if it works. So Amazon Photos literally saved the day. I mean, those raw files were gone. I mean, and I thought my backup system was perfectly fine because I was using an external RAID system where if a hard drive failed, I could just replace it. And I was also using Backblaze to automatically store everything in the cloud. But the one flaw that I never thought about was, you know, what would happen if I accidentally deleted a file locally, but didn't discover that I had deleted the file until a month or a year later. Now, honestly, part of the reason why I think I just completely forgot about the fact that I had uploaded all of my raw images to Amazon Photos a couple of years ago is because I don't pay a monthly bill for Amazon Photos. Amazon Photos is, in case you don't know, Amazon Photos is 
free if you are an Amazon Prime subscriber. And I've been an Amazon Prime subscriber for years, you know? I mean, I get a lot of value out of it in general. I know there are millions of other people who are Prime subscribers as well, and I bet a bunch of you watching this video probably are too. Well, in case you didn't know about Amazon Photos, Amazon Photos comes with Amazon Prime and is completely free and you can upload as much raw data as you want. And the only way those raw images are ever going to be deleted is if you go in and delete them yourself or if you cancel your Prime subscription, then obviously, you know, all of that would, um, would then be uh, automatically deleted by Amazon. As far as getting those raw images up to Amazon Photos, it's not as elegant as, you know, say Backblaze is. But it does work. I mean, you just have to download an Amazon Photos uh, desktop client. You just point it to a directory or a hard drive or whatever, and it will automatically upload all of the images that it finds uh, to Amazon Photos. And then when it's done, you can disconnect the hard drive. You can really do whatever you want <laughs> locally uh, from that point forward because uh, all those raw images are now stored on Amazon servers. Anyway, I thought there might be some other people out there watching this video some other people following my channel who may be Prime subscribers already. I mean, this, you know, Amazon Photos is available to you if uh, if this is something of interest to you and you want to check it out and you want an extra layer in your uh, raw backup security. All right, that's it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you again next week.